What's going on guys, Kyle Baracha from Nelson Reagan Rig Your Adventure. Welcome to our 2023 AIM Expo booth. We've got all of our adventure, dual sport, ATV, UTV stuff over on this side of the booth and then moving our way this direction. We've got our sport bike luggage, we've got tank bags, we've got tail bags, things of that nature. This here is our dual sport and enduro dry luggage. We'll get to that in a minute. And then moving over to this side, we've got all of our Route 1, which is our touring cruiser V-twin luggage. And this is the Solo Storm that we just launched last year that gives you ultimate waterproof protection while you're out there on the road. Now let me grab the camera, we'll get in close and take a walk through the booth and show you just what we have to offer. So moving on over to this section, this is that Solo Storm jacket and pan I just told you about. Sold separately, the jacket's available in a high-vis orange, a high-vis yellow, and a black. And the pants are available in just black. We're available in lots of sizes from small to four extra large. Again, you can buy the top and the bottom separate so you can choose just exactly what size you want to get that to perfect fit. Moving on this direction, this is our touring luggage. This is our Route 1 line of luggage. This is one of our flagship pieces. This is the Traveler. Sits on top of the tour trunk, as you can see right here. And it has a little brother. That's the Traveler Light. This one here can actually fit inside your tour pack, pretty rad. And then when you need more storage than that, you pull it out, put it on top, and strap it down. You need a little bit less storage, we have the Weekender. It's this guy right here. And then the day trip is over on the back side. Let's go take a look. Now on our way around here, this is our Rover pet carrier. This allows you to take your furry friend with you or your non-furry friend. We recently had a customer send us a picture of their goat inside the Rover pet carrier. Uh, we have another customer that has a cat, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun to see what you guys are putting in, inside your Rover pet carriers. Now this carries up to 20 pounds, so you got to make sure that your pet is less than 20 pounds. Straps via our mounting system, four corners, down to a rack, down to a seat, down to a frame rail. Super easy installation. Our journey tank bag is a magnetic tank bag. High-vis interior allows you to have lots of storage up on the tank of your motorcycle. And if you need a little bit less than that, this is our magnetic phone holder. This is great. Allows you to put your phone in front of you as you're cruising down the road. Nice for GPS and things of that nature. Moving on this direction, this is that day trip that I was telling you about. This is perfect for a back seat, a luggage rack, or even the top of a tour pack. Great storage capabilities there. If you have a Dyna or a Softail, this here is, or these here, I should say, there are two of them. And there's the other side. These are the road trip saddlebags. These have a quick disconnect back here on the back, and then you just unzip them, and you can take the bag off the motorcycle if you would like to. As far as fitment goes, we also have symmetric fitments. It also fits a Honda Shadow, fits a Vulcan S, Kawasaki, a BMW R18. Lots of fitments for the road trip saddlebags. Now the neat part about all of this gear here that we're looking at is the fact that it does have a lifetime warranty. It's made with Ultramax material and it will not fade. Moving on over this direction, this is our sport bike section of the booth. We have our commuter sport saddlebags. These actually fit on the back of just about every sport bike out there. They've got throw over straps here on the top and then they have um, straps on both the front and the back that hold it against the motorcycle and made of Ultramax material so it's not going to fade. And then the commuter tank bag is made in a sport version which you see here which is slightly larger and a light version that we have up here on the tank. Um, we have two different mounting options. They both come with the unit. Every tank bag has two mounting options. They have magnets or they have clips and straps for quick release. Great way. If you have a plastic tank or a metal tank, we've got you covered. And then moving on this direction, these are our commuter tail bags. We have a light, we have a sport, and we have a touring model. The touring model holds almost 30 liters of storage. It's crazy. Uh, expands up eh, about that high, so you can get great additional storage out of the top of those. Moving on over from the sport bike stuff into the ATV UTV realm. We have our dual hydration center storage bag here. We've got our rear cargo bag down here. This fits perfectly in Razors and Kawasaki KRXs and CF Moto vehicles, lots of stuff. This here is our, this is a really neat piece right here. This is gonna be our tool bag set. So this actually straps down into the bed of your vehicle and it's the perfect size 
to carry a UTV belt right here around the outside. It comes with a tool roll. Tools are not included. And then these straps right here allow you to secure that tool roll down to the bottom of the bag so they don't jump around while you are out there on the trail. Let me get this thing opened with a single hand. A little bit difficult with no tools in it. There we go. Boom. This here is going to be your tool roll. This is a great platform or, or place to put all of your tools and parts that you take off your vehicle so they don't get lost in the dirt, in the grass, or whatever have you. Two rows of tools and then a nice pocket over here with mesh on the front so you can see just exactly what you have stored inside there. Now we have a smaller version of this tool roll that I'll show you here in just a little bit. I have that stored away on the rig pack on the 1190. This here is our waterproof rear cargo bag. This is the Hurricane UTV cargo bag. It has four straps on it. Now the neat part about this is here on the very top, we've got two smaller pockets that allows you to put gloves and smaller things that you want to get to easily. And you can open this thing all the way up. And this bottom pouch here is the perfect size to fit a UTV belt. That's great. Now when it comes to pockets on this, there is an upper pocket and a lower pocket. And you can have them as individual pockets or there's a shelf right here at this line that you can remove and have complete open storage inside that large bag there. Great feature, great piece, works really well. Moving on this way, we have more of our dual sport or enduro luggage. Uh, we have the Trails End Light tank bag along with our fuel bottle holder here. The fuel bottle holder can be mounted to any at Molly attachment or it has four straps to come with it so you can get the perfect fit. This is our light tank bag right here. And then back behind it is the adventure tank bag. Now the adventure tank bag is neat. There's a zipper right here that allows you to have about this much expansion so you can get another third more storage out of that particular bag. And this here is a good example of that commuter sport tank bag and tail bag we talked about just a second ago. Moving on over here, we have three different tail bags in the Trails End line. We've got a light version, which is not pictured here inside nope and then this is the dual sport version and the adventure version again lots of storage they both expand choop, to give you extra room we have our dual sport saddlebags um, we have new for this year a hurricane version which is a completely waterproof version now those saddlebags are pretty amazing the way they mount they're a rackless mount we have a strap that comes down to the front and another strap that comes to the back and they connect to this d-ring down here and the tighter you pull them the more secure these bags get against the side of the motorcycle. We'll come back to the Hurricane stuff here in just a second when we finish, over, uh, finish up over here with the Trails End. In addition to the saddle bags, we also have fender bags. Here's the rear fender bag. This comes with the small tool roll inside of it. And then a front fender bag, which is perfect for carrying tubes and tire repair tools. Moving on over here, we have the Polaris XP door bags as well as the Maverick X3 door bags. These are a great way to carry luggage with you or gear with you really accessible in the door of your vehicle. Moving on over this direction for their Hurricane line. Again, the Hurricane line was launched last year. We launched a saddlebag. We launched a 25. This is the saddlebags right here. These are 28 liters per saddlebag. It's crazy. Almost 50 liters of storage that you get. Some neat features on that that I'll talk about here in a second, but we've got the saddlebags. We have a 25 liter duffel. We have a 40 liter duffel down there at the, on, on the ground. We have a 10 liter roll bag that fits perfectly on top of the saddlebags or either of the duffel bags. This is a 30 liter backpack tail pack. I'll talk about some of the features and benefits there and here in a second. And then two new items for this year. It's gonna be our Hurricane tank bag with a nice curved bottom on it for these sloped tanks. That's phenomenal. And then the rig pack. This is gonna be a super universal piece that can mount just about anywhere. Now I mentioned earlier that we have a small toolkit. Take a look. That's what I have inside this particular crash bar bag at the moment. Again, this rig pack comes with all kinds of different straps. And actually it was just named one of the Nifty 50 products of 2023. These are the attachments it comes with. It's got two compression straps that can go across the front of the bag. You can mount it just with those, or it has these six little straps right here that can go around any bar whether it be square or round, or it's just, just a great feature. Um, anyway, that toolkit on the inside of here, 
pull it out and we can take a look and see that we have all kinds of tools that we can store inside there. Again, this bright orange background, I use this to put all of my tools and parts that I take off the motorcycle so they don't get lost on the ground when I'm out there doing a repair. And moving back to these saddlebags real quick, a neat feature about the saddlebags is the fact that they are large and cavernous on the inside and they have a gusset, a stiffener if you will, that plugs in down there, goes around the bottom of the bag and plugs into that side. And that allows the bags to hold their shape even when empty. But if you don't want to have them taking up all this room and sticking out inside your motorcycle, you can remove that stiffener and you can compress the bag completely against the rack. I love that feature, and this is this, the way that I run the setup most of the time. I leave this one open, that way I can easily access it, toss stuff in there when I need to, close it up, and I'm good to go. And then this side over here, I only expand when I need that extra storage space. Now circling back to this rig pack that I showed you on the crash guard of the 1190, this is what it looks like right here. Again, six different Velcro straps that allow you to attach to any bar, and then on the back, this is our non-slip surface. This is great for when you're mounting it as a tail pack or on the rear seat of a motorcycle so you don't get any of these things marring the surface. And that's how we have it mounted over here as a tail pack on the back of the 690. Now in this application, we used only the compression straps. Um, that's all we needed in order to get the perfect fit back here. Now another neat feature of this bag is these two strips right here. These are Molly. So we could actually attach this bag to the front of our saddle bag on the Molly panel that we have there. If we wanted to add an additional five liters of storage to the front of those saddle bags. Again, so many features built into this rig pack. Again, we put this on power or watercraft. We put it on ATVs. We put it on UTVs. Like there's literally nowhere that we have found that this rig pack hasn't been able to be used. Moving on over this way, another new item for 2023 are the Hurricane saddlebags. We touched on these just a little bit earlier. 14 liters of storage per side. It's phenomenal. There is a stiffener inside this bag as well. It comes in, tucks in here, and comes all the way around. That gives you a nice hard base on the bottom of the bag. Keeps things from kind of poking through the bottom there, if you will. And then when you don't need these to be fully expanded like this, you can take that liner out you can flip it sideways and completely compress these bags against the motorcycle it's just a great way to carry storage on a bike that doesn't have racks and typically is difficult to put luggage or to find places to store your gear when you're out there on the trail and then we've got the rig pack that we've talked about several times already that rig pack fits perfectly on the top of the bag so these two quick release buckles open up the rig pack just how these two straps are coming over the top we don't even need to use those here because the bag already has them installed, um, heat welded and sewn into the side of the bag here. But yeah, that rig pack can sit right here on top or right here on the bottom. Same matching straps down there allow you to add an additional 10 liters of storage to your 14 liter per side bags instantaneously. Pretty rad setup. And uh, yeah, as far as tank bags go, this is the Hurricane Light tank bag. This is it right here. Perfect size for most dual sport motorcycles, anything that's an enduro, a dirt bike, anything of that nature. But yeah, this is it. Our AIM Expo booth 2023 Nelson Rig and Rig Gear Adventure with our dual sport enduro adventure line, UTVs, ATVs, sport bikes, touring bikes, V-twins, you name it, we have luggage, covers, and rainwear for whatever vehicle you happen to ride. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions about any of the luggage or the rain suit or the covers or anything that we've talked about today, please leave a comment, and we'll be happy to get back to you extremely quickly. I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Nelson Array. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there.